6 Most Incredible Airplanes in the World The Airbus Beluga This weird-looking plane is named for its resemblance in shape with the beluga whale. The duo is white with huge bulbous heads. The beluga is officially called as an A300-600ST which means super transporter. This aircraft has the biggest cargo hold of any non-military aircraft flying in present. Airbus has five belugas and they are used for transporting parts of other aircraft, the other parts are fuselage sections, wings and tails for A320S and A330S along with the parts of latest A350. This airplane is a customized A300. The Boeing Dreamlifter Dreamlifter is Boeing's version of the Beluga. It is customized 747 jumbo jet. This airplane was created for carrying parts of the 787 Dreamliner. Boeing has four of the biggest transport aircraft. The customized 747 are believed ugly as compared to the smooth lines of a normal jumbo jet. The Dreamlifter is a customized 747 jumbo jet. Despite being one of the greatest airplanes, it is not much preferred nowadays. 747 have now slowly got old with times, but few people still prefer this airplane and it still flies with many airlines including Qantas. Antonov and 225 Mir. It is constructed by the Soviet Union. It is the biggest and heaviest aircraft to fly. This airplane makes its appearances daily at the air shows around the world. This comprises Australia's biennial event at Avalon in Victoria and appointment to Perth. This airplane can bear 640 tons. This airplane is powered by six engines on its wings. The wingspan is of 88 meters and it is the biggest of an airplane flying in present. It was originally a military airplane and then it was flying under Ukraine's flag. Maia has been accessible for commercial transport since early 2000. The Concorde There is a very little chance that anybody might have been on board with this airplane. This airplane was supersonic jet designed for flying in the Atlantic crossings flanked by the US and Europe, this was when it used to serve. This airplane originally flew in the year 1969 and it entered commercial service in the year 1976. It used to fly between transatlantic routes, New York to London for about three hours. The airplane kept flying until 2003 but then the era of this airplane came to an end. This airplane was only for the super rich people. The Spruce Goose This airplane was the project of an unconventional American capitalist, the name of this amazing man was Howard Hughes. He is the one whose character was played by Leonardo DiCaprio in the film named The Aviator. The Hughes H-4 Hercules, aka the Spruce Goose was a massive airplane of its time, it was originally constructed as a transport plane World War II but the airplane wasn't completed till the war ended. The airplane consisted of the largest wingspan as compared to any other plane, the Goose was completed of wood as at that time they faced a shortage of aluminium. The plane never got received the chance of testing, it was only flown once for about 2 kilometers. You can still see this airplane at the Evergreen Aviation Museum in McMinnville, Oregon which is located in the United States. You will not find any airplane made up of using woods in present, in today's era, all the airplanes are made using aluminium. The Private Super Jumbo The designer of this airplane made a lot of headlines while it was launched. It was supposed to fly for the royal palace, it was for the Saudi prince, Al-Walid bin Talal in the year 2007. 